Welcome back. This is Dan Havey with CF Ninja Hacks. And in the last video, we looked at how to set up your custom domain and click funnels and running it through Cloudflare. And the reason we do that is really to give it some more security, but also to really ensure that all the traffic that you have that's going to that domain name, no matter how somebody types it in, as long as they got the domain name in there, for the most part, all the traffic will funnel into the very first page of your of your funnel so uh, let's see what we looked at last time so we looked at basically just setting up a very basic funnel and coming into Cloudflare and putting in uh, we had our www pointing to automate MLM and then we had automate MLM.com which is of course our, our root domain we have that pointing then at target.clickfunnels.com and then we went into GoDaddy and we put in some name servers or we're, we're gonna walk through basically that again but what we want to do now is we want to set up a subdomain instead of the root domain. But before we jump into that, let me just show you a couple more things real quick. Because in one of the next videos you're gonna to wanna to go through, you're gonna to wanna to set up your SMTP through SendGrid. And when you do that, you're going to end up with your, your DNS records inside of Cloudflare looking basically like this, where again, we got the uh, triple W pointing at the root and the root pointing at target.clickfunnels. But then we also have one, two, three, four, five more C names that will get added in here that you're gonna get all that information from SendGrid, you're gonna put it into your Cloudflare account, and then it ties everything together to make sure that it uh, definitely increases the ability for your emails to get to where you want them to go. And then there's one other added level of complexity that you might run into, and that's if you have a domain that already has email on it. So I have email on this domain, and you're gonna see down here, we got additional records. We have these two MX records. We have an SOA and SRV. I'm not quite sure what the SOA is, but the SRV, I'm pretty sure that has to do with the email. So a couple of these down here have to do with email. And when you pull them in, like we had on this first one here, Automate MLM had nothing else on it. It's not run through SendGrid. There's no email or anything else. But if you get to the point now where you have your domain set up, you have email on that domain, and you run it through SendGrid, it's going to start looking like this. So again, we got our triple W pointing at the root domain. We have the root domain pointing at target.clickfunnels.com. And then down here at the bottom, we got an MX, two MX records, and an SRV record that all are there because that came in. They got pulled in automatically from GoDaddy into Cloudflare when we originally set this up. And those all have to do with the email. And then we have one, two, well, okay, wait, this one's email. A couple of these are email up here as well. I completely forgot about those. A couple of these are email. But then you also have another five or so in here, again, because I have the SMTP from SendGrid attached to this account right here. So in this video right now, we want to take our domain of fortheloveofketo.com and we want to put a subdomain on top of that. So what we're going to do is we're going to come back into Cloudflare and we're going to click on the cloud in the upper corner and we're going to say we want to add a site and we're going to say here for the love of keto.com and I'm going to copy that so I don't have to type it in every time and we will add this site. So right now it's going out to GoDaddy. It's going to grab a hold of the DNS records that it thinks it needs and in our case here it's going to probably only bring in this A record and these two C name records so we'll see what it pulls in and that's exactly what it did. It pulled in those two and so now we are going to delete out that A record. So no matter how many A records you have, delete them out. Everything else you can leave in there just as is. And then we have our triple W pointing at our root domain. And now we have to decide what we want to do. So in a lot of cases, people will have a root domain because they want to have a blog and also to have click funnels at the same time. So you gotta decide. Which one do you want to be which? Do you want ClickFunnels to be the root domain and the blog to be the subdomain, or do you want it the other way around? In my case here, just as uh, just as an example, what I'm going to do is I'm going to point 
the root domain at ClickFunnels, and then I'm going to make a subdomain of blog and then point that at my WordPress install that I'm running over at DropFunnels. So let's do that right now. We're going to add a record here, and we are going to call that we're going to have this be a CNAME record. And in this case here, we're going to go with the root domain, so we can just put in an at, and we can point that at target.clickfunnels.com. And we will click on save and it will remove the proxy because we don't need that in there. And then we're going to set up one more here. We have to go a C name here. We're going to go C name and we're going to say blog this time. And the blog is going to point to the C name that I got from drop funnels. We're going to put that in there and we are going to click on save. So now if somebody types in blog.fortheloveofketo.com, they're going to go to my WordPress install. And of course, you gotta, you got to get the right information from whoever you're running your WordPress through, and you got to make sure you set that up in here properly. And then you also have then just the regular going, uh, the, uh, the root domain going to target.clickfunnels.com. So let us click on save on this, and we're going to grab a hold of our name servers on the next page. We're going to come in to GoDaddy, and again, your domain registrar may not be GoDaddy. It may be something else. You're going to have to hunt around and try to find where do you change the DNS and where do you change your name servers in particular. So we're just going to find this here. We're going to put in those two new name servers that they gave to us. We'll put that in there. We will click on Save. And then it's going to give me a warning message, making sure I know this is risky and that I'm going to mess everything up if I continue. Uh, of course, you won't because it's easy enough to turn this right back off again. You just go in there, you tell it to change the name servers back to the default name servers, and everything will come right back into GoDaddy. And so it's going to show this for a second, uh, purple warning message there, and then eventually it'll flip over to the new name servers that we have. So now let's go back into Cloudflare, and we're going to say get started here. They got a nice little quick start guide now. And yes, we do want automatic HTTPS rewrites because we want everything being pushed to HTTPS, so we're going to leave that on as well. And then next here, we're going to optimize, and oh, they're pre-checking all three of them now, or maybe, maybe it's because I'd done this once before. So you want to check all three of these, because what it does is anywhere in the code that you have spaces, carriage returns, any other text that you don't need, it'll automatically pull that out because the computer doesn't need that. So it condenses the file and makes it load faster. And the same thing with Broadly here, that will also help to make your page load faster. So then what we're going to do, is we're going to come into page rules and um, we're going to, we can do a couple of different things in here. So I'll show you what we can do. But the first one is we want to make sure that we take the www subdomain and we want to point that somewhere. We can either point that to the root domain or we can point that to the subdomain. And I'll show you how to do both. But it shows right here just www.fortheloveofketo.com is all you need in here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put an asterisk in before it and then type it all in and put an extra asterisk at the end and then we're going to go here to settings forwarding URL we want it to be a 301 permanent redirect and then we can go HTTPS colon slash slash for the love of keto dot com slash dollar sign two. Now what that says is grab a hold of the second asterisk from the first line up here. So grab a hold of this asterisk and put it at the end. So we got our first asterisk over here, which could be HTTP or HTTPS. And it says change that out to just HTTP always. So we got three different places in here where we're forcing it into the HTTPS, which is of course what we want because we will have an SSL certificate on this once we run it through. Uh, once we run it through Cloudflare, I'm sorry, once we run it through ClickFunnels. And then we got our root domain, and then dollar sign two says whatever somebody types here at the end as a path, if they put in free pizza, it's going to pull the free pizza and it's going to put it right on there. And then we could save and deploy. But now let's say instead of running your www to the root domain, which is going to be on ClickFunnels, let's say we want to run that to our subdomain. And we're going to say blog.fortheloveofketo.com slash dollar sign two. 
and we will save that. So what that's going to do for us is anytime somebody types in something, www, it's going to send that person to the blog. If they don't type in the www, if they just put in for the love of keto.com, it will send them to the, uh, to the click funnels page. So if they type in www or blog dot for the love of keto.com. They go to the WordPress install. If they type in just the root domain, it'll go to the click funnel site. So in this case here, we can come over here to overview and we can just reload the page right here. And we get a big congratulations right there. So now we can go into ClickFunnels. And we're going to come down and we're going to say add an existing domain. And in this case here, we were just using our root at this point. So we're going to just put in for the love of keto.com. And we would click on add a domain. And then we would associate that with an existing funnel we already set up. So now let's just say, as an example, I know what I, I know what I did here is I said we're going to send that over to the uh, to the WordPress blog if we put in our subdomain. But in this case here, we're just going to say that we uh, pretend like we set up another subdomain, and that subdomain we called demo. So actually, let's go back into for the love of keto here we can go to our dns records and we can actually set up another subdomain for this account so let's just come in here and we will say we want a second subdomain and we want this one just to be called demo and we're going to target this one again back at click funnels so this is how you would set up a subdomain if it was for click funnels and of course the other way here would be if you were sending it over to to um, to drop funnels in this particular case or anywhere else, so you just have to get what the target would be from whoever is hosting your site. So you would put that in there. So right now we have triple W pointing at the root domain, the root domain pointing at target.clickfunnels, and now we have a second subdomain of demo pointing to target.clickfunnels.com. So let's go in there. We have it already typed in. This domain is registered on Cloudflare. The answer to that is no. We are hosting it on Cloudflare. It is registered at GoDaddy, hosted on Cloudflare, but it is not registered on Cloudflare. So we will add our domain. And I've done this step. And these guys are all happy pappy. Now, the thing is at this point, I have not set up a funnel that I particularly wanted to connect this to. So because of that, if I decide to say, let's just show me my domains, what will happen is that the default and the 404 page will actually be the ClickFunnels homepage. So if somebody were to go to this domain, if somebody were to type in demo.fortheloveofketo.com or fortheloveofketo.com because we have them both pointed at ClickFunnels, if they were to go there, they're actually going to go to ClickFunnels homepage. So you're basically taking your traffic and sending it to ClickFunnels. So the best thing to do always is set up at least the first page of your funnel, even if you completely change it all later, but at least set up the first page of your funnel. So at this point here, you can set up your default and your 404 page. Now in our case, just to move forward, I'm just going to open this up and I'm just going to grab out any old funnel just so we can move forward with this. But like I said, it's always best to set up that page first so you can associate it so you don't have to think about it. Because let's come in here, demo for the love of keto.com is pointing to that Zapier test site. But the first thing we want to do is we want to turn on our SSL. So we'll add SSL and we'll get a little message up here in the corner that says it's going to be 10 to 15 minutes for this to propagate. I found that if you're using uh, .com as your TLD, that it goes in about 30 seconds. If you're using something else, .info, .us, whatever, it could take substantially longer. And I've also found that same thing with Cloudflare. If you're using something other than a .com, it could take much longer there too. .coms are almost instantaneous. .info or something else uh, may, be, may take quite a bit longer. So we got the SSL working here. And always remember, you got to come back and click this again. 
Now you see, because I clicked on that Zapier test site saying that that was the funnel that I was associating it with, it went out to that and it grabbed the hold of the very first, uh, very first funnel page and it put this in here as your default page. So when you're setting this up, like I said, whenever possible, do that on the step before. Pick out your exact funnel on the step before, and then it'll always set this to the first page in the funnel. And so make sure you check this here, but pretty much leave it alone. You want all your traffic, whether it's somebody just types in for the love of keto.com or demo.fortheloveofketo.com. You always want them going to the first page in that particular funnel. Same thing with the 404 error page. If somebody types in for the love of keto.com slash a path that doesn't exist, it's going to give them a 404 error and you want them going to the first page of that funnel no matter what they type it in, whether you're sending them to the root domain or if you're sending them to a subdomain. So now we would come down to our SSL. We will check this again now. And it should tell us that the SSL has been secured and we are ready to go. So that is exactly what we have right here. So what we just took a look at is what are you going to do if you want to set up a subdomain pointing to ClickFunnels? It's simple. Inside of Cloudflare, demo pointing to target.clickfunnels.com, just like you did the route to there. And then you also can do a subdomain to any other site. In this case here, we were using a WordPress install. But the other thing is you can flip-flop this too. You could say, let's, uh, let me here, let me just uh, copy this. You could say you want your root domain pointing to your WordPress install or whatever else you have. And then you could have your subdomain, and I'll just call this for the lack of anything else, I'll just call this subdomain. And you could have that pointing at target.clickfunnels.com. And we will save that. And then again, you just go into ClickFunnels and you set it up as a subdomain, not as the root domain. So you don't have to have a root domain on ClickFunnels. It can just be the subdomain like we have set up here. So that is it. I think I've gone through every possible option on how you can set up a subdomain. So if you have any questions, just let me know.